Terry Bogert might be released on Friday, November 1st. We got the inside scoop. Let's do this. What's happening, my block buddies? And welcome to a brand new spooky episode of Blocked Contents League Speak. My name is Callum, and this is going to be your content for today. Yes, this is not a drill. It actually really, really looks like Terry Bogard might be dropping into Super Smash Bros. in mere days. And do I say days? Yes, it's basically just one or two days away, depending on where in the world you are. This is super exciting. The evidence here is just stacking up, but this is really something that you can't really ignore, right? This is the evidence that we've been looking for, right? These are the droids that we've been looking for. So thank you guys so much for joining me for another episode of Block Contents Leak Speak today. Here's something super great, super special. A lot of you block buddies on Discord and here on the YouTube channel asked for it. We launched a new show called Question Blocked. I answer your questions about upcoming Smash Fighters, maybe thoughts on your favorite game, or maybe even questions how to start on YouTube. Anything you can think of, send your question through right now to blockedcontentmail at gmail.com and I will answer your questions live on the show in our next episode. And for those of you guys who like giveaways, we are giving away a beautiful, cute Piranha Plant plushie and this awesome What's Happening My Block Buddies t-shirt, and that's happening at 40k. So remember to subscribe to Block Content right now. Hit that subscribe button to get a chance to enter for that giveaway. All right, guys, let's head right on into this. This news comes from two people here on Twitter. One is at NintenZ, spoopy NintenZ, saying, Red alert, red alert. The new spirit event has copyrights for SNK. Could it be? And then the image basically links to the copyright 2018 Nintendo original game from Nintendo Hell Laboratory. It lists all the different companies and it ends with SNK Corporation, of course, after Square Enix, after Atlas, Microsoft, all the newcomers that we've got. So this is really interesting, right? The new spirit event has this in its credits. So it means that when those new spirits drop, when that event drops, we will be having some content in the game from SNK. Now it becomes even even more awesome because the user at Nana Karobi follows up on this information saying, looks like Terry Bogard may be releasing on Friday, November 1st. The newest spirit event lists the SNK copyright, something that wasn't there in the previous Tetris spirit event. And of course, the Tetris spirit event, super awesome. Really great to see that representation in Smash Brothers, right? The Tetraminos. <laughs> uh, that's really interesting to have in the game. And it did not at all have any information about SNK. So to me, that's a really big get here. Now, actually in those credits, there is just undeniably proof that Terry is coming in that update. Now, if we want to think about this, right, that basically means if we're getting the character on Friday and it's, you know, Wednesday, Thursday right now, depending on where you are, this is super interesting, right? I mean, just think about the fact that there's basically one day left for Nintendo to make some sort of direct, for Sakurai to come out with a video, for something to hit the internet to kind of hype up, or maybe the video will just drop online and completely immediately show Oh yeah, by the way, we're releasing Terry Bogart right now. Well, this gets me a little bit suspicious for two things. Well, one is that it's a really close, you know, it's really, really close to that release date, which would mean I don't think that there's going to be a huge update with Terry this time. So the fourth character in that DLC pass, super great. I can't wait to play as the character, but I don't think that the character will come with so much new stuff, right? I think, of course, music, of course, the great stage that we've already seen a bit from, and the character, his alternate costumes, of course, which I can't wait to see. I think that we can really see some different things here. But I do actually feel like we might not be getting any game mode information, any game mode content in this update, because I just think that maybe if this is dropping so quickly, it'll just be a surprise hit, right? Maybe Sakurai really wants to catch us off guard and just drop that trailer or drop the release. And that video ends with, by the way, Terry is available today, you know, not right now. Usually it takes the servers a little bit of time and for everyone in the world to be able to download Terry. But I do think 
that update is coming soon. The Friday thing here is also interesting. A lot of people have been saying there are no guarantees, of course. Um, they've been talking about VR plant, a uh, known leaker, uh, hasn't heard of a video as of two days ago. However, this inclusion of the copyright is interesting to say the least. A lot of people are talking about the fact that, of course, a Friday makes complete sense. A Monday wouldn't because everyone goes back to school or work. And here you have a Friday, Saturday, and a Sunday to kind of duke it out with Terry and fall in love with Smash Brothers Ultimate again. The fact here is that I think we are going to be getting less content with this character because it is a surprise reveal, right? We're going into this basically blind, having known nothing so far of the content that comes with Terry. We don't know if there's game modes that they're hiding from us, if there's boss rush modes, maybe smash runs. I've seen a lot of people theorize about that. But yeah, it's definitely coming in the first week of November. That's really what people are clinging on to now, right? 7-Eleven has not failed us yet. And that's basically where all those leaks come from, right? The Japanese 7-Eleven basically drops these, you know, boards, these signages, and they basically talk about the Smash Brothers newcomers and those get taken down pretty much a week or two after, and that means the character needs to drop in that time, this would still adhere to that kind of a theory, right? So that's super interesting. I, there's a lot of people that are saying the copyright may be added when they revealed Terry as a character, so it doesn't really coincide with that. But of course, it wasn't there when this new event happened, right? This Tetris event, which was cool. I mean, really great to see those characters, if you want to call them, come into Super Smash Bros. A lot of people have been hoping for that. But yeah, that was a way for Nintendo to kind of show, okay, this is the credits right now. And with a new post, this brand new spirit event, it shows that entire new credit. So to me, it's undeniable proof that this is true. This probably slipped between the cracks or maybe they just didn't care and this had to be included because it is a rightful copyright, right? They really need to get that in there. There was no way around it. There was no way to hide it. And simply stating that SNK is included there doesn't maybe mean that the character is there. A lot of people have been thinking maybe it's just gonna be spirits first and then we're gonna get an announcement. We're gonna get a Nintendo Direct, but that has basically, in the history of this game, never happened. They don't really do teases like that in game. They do them online in a Nintendo Direct, in a Sakurai video, something like that. So this is what I think will definitively happen. I think that this is completely correct. I think Friday, November 1st is when we will be getting Terry Bogard. I think that tomorrow might be a really big day for Super Smash Brothers. I actually think that a video might drop. I think that maybe in a few hours from right now, we might even get an announcement post from Nintendo saying, well, we are announcing right now that Sakurai is going live with a Smash Brothers demonstration for Terry. Be sure to tune in. I think that we might even get get a hint as to who the next fighter is, which will be the final fighter for this first fighter's pass. I think that that will definitely happen in some sort of form. Maybe a small teaser. Maybe, you know, we know who the character is. I think that that will make a lot of people talk, but you really want people to play as Terry and get a feel for all the other content that's coming to the game, whether it be music or the new stage and stuff like that, right? Of course, they're always balancing things, patches. So I do believe that this is gonna be big. If you're on the internet tomorrow, I think that there's a huge chance that Smash Brothers might make an impact, that there will be a video of some sort, that we will be basically led to believe this leak is entirely true. And I think that these are the things that basically always end up being true, right? It's never the big 4chan post that we tend to kind of laugh at with each other. There's sometimes that they're right, and you know, it's in hindsight, but mostly the things that end up being correct are those things that Nintendo basically does themselves, you know, and not on purpose or anything. There's things that they add to websites, and I wasn't a believer of that SNK credit before, right, when it ended up on online, and I was like, well, this is probably some website thing. I just couldn't believe it. I just maybe didn't want to believe it until I saw the character and how cool this could be. So, uh, and I've uh, gone through the ringer for that too, um, but I definitely talked about that in the past. And right now it kind of seems a pretty similar thing, right? That SNK copyright is pretty much coming back for revenge and saying, Terry might be releasing really soon. So super curious if you guys think that this is true. Do you guys think that Terry is dropping on Friday, November 1st? Is this actual proof of this thing happening? Or could this be some sort of other way that they really wanna include all the copyrights for all the companies, regardless if we 
have them in the game, but we know that they're in the game, right? And they're being advertised on the website and stuff like that. So that could definitely happen too. Let me know in the comments down below because your comment could actually be featured read out loud in our next video. And on that point, I really wanted to say, I've run a poll on our community page here on YouTube because I received a very insightful and sweet comment um, about the comment question of the day, right? The thing that we do where we basically get one comment that I really liked that I read out loud and then I comment on the content of that message. And sometimes I do them in weird voices and I just basically do that to kind of humor myself and kind of be weird, spontaneous and improvise. But um, yeah, this comment basically said, and this wasn't a comment question winner. This was just someone who basically commented saying, well, there might be people who are uncomfortable with, you know, you doing a weird voice for them. And it kept me thinking of, yeah, maybe people do feel like they get misrepresented. That's not the idea at all. It's not make fun of people at all. It's just maybe to, uh, you know, connect something fun to a user image or a name and then just to make the episode a little bit lighter. So I wanted to comment on that. I'll keep the poll in mind. I'll watch that throughout the next coming days. But for now, I'll just resort to just reading the comment uh, in a neutral voice. And a neutral voice is like my own voice, but boring, I guess, <laughs> which you know, arguably might already be. So our common question of today is, do you think that Terry is coming on Friday, November 1st? So let me know in the comments down below. As for a previous common question, it comes from user Poe Kirby Mon 8B, the media maniac, saying, it might interest you to know that Crash Bandicoot voice actor Jess Harnell would like to see Crash join Smash. Also, Chris Seaver said that he would voice Conquer again if he joined Smash. Well, thank you so much for your comment, Poe Kirby, Mon 8B, the media maniac. I do think that this would be super great. I mean, Crash Bandicoot's voice actor, I think, deserves to be in Smash Brothers just as much as Charles Martinet is in there as Mario. And uh, David Hayter, of course, is being reused here. I think that all the greats deserve to be in this game. And that would be no other, right? I mean, Crash Bandicoot's... Wow! I would love to hear those in Smash. Um, as for Conquer, I don't believe that that character will ever come to Smash Brothers. I don't think that the chances are high. I do like the character. I just think that it doesn't, in this current climate, mesh with Smash, right? Um, so thank you so much for commenting. These are always so much fun to read through. A huge shout out to everybody donating through Patreon. I mean, you guys really make this channel and the content possible. And of course, everyone who donates through Super Chat when we live stream. So thank you so much. If you want to have yourself created in the blocked content art style, or maybe even have a Skype chat with me, go, uh, you know, make your own episodes and have them animated by me on the channel, please visit patreon.com slash blocked content because that's where you can get that happen. There's a bunch of incredible rewards there and they're waiting just for you. And remember, if you're not yet a member of the Block Content family yet, don't worry, click that subscribe button right now, ring the bell for notifications so all the news and fun you care about will be delivered on the daily right on your screen. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll just see you around the corner where there's always more leak speak and blocked content. See ya.